Hey babies, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Ndea and welcome to The Pretty Gang. I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting me. We are like at 550 something subscribers. I would love to appreciate that and for you guys only supporting me, you know, commenting, liking, subscribing. Thank you guys so, so much. I love you. And if you are new, please do subscribe, do like the content. I mean, why not? Why not? If you're watching, it means you like the content. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, so today's video is a story time. So I had like previous story times on my channel before, but I deleted them for some unforeseen reason. But anyways, we move child. So I'm going to tell you guys what transpired. So cheers. Having some shampoo. Po. <laughs> okay anyways guys it is so hot like whoo i'm currently in the coast right now and guys december is hot anyways i hope you guys are keeping safe it's december you know so happy festive keep on taking care of yourself guys like it's not safe out there you know and also we know when you guys are driving and all those stuff please adhere to the road regulations okay so enough of the rambling now let me get into the story time because I need to go. My friend is waiting for me. <laughs> okay, guys. So let me quickly tell you guys the settings. So... This happened like when I was in my eighth grade and I was basically at home chilling, you know, with my mom. So now the thing is, okay, like the people that are going to be involved in this story time is me, my mom and my boy, my boyfriend, who is also my first boyfriend, I think, by the way. Hmm. Guys, so on this particular evening, I was like, you know, chilling in the room mind you at that time not at that time like yeah at that time i didn't have a room like i used to sleep in my parents room basically so what happened is my dad was still at work so it was just me and my mom home now also guys i didn't have a phone like i didn't have a phone like i had a phone like since grade four but for some reason my mom took it and gave it to my grandma you know things like that so now at this particular point, I didn't have a phone ever since my phone was given to my grandma. So what happened is, guys, I have a boyfriend. So I was chatting to my man. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I thought then. I was chatting to my man. So what happened is, yeah, you guys are probably wondering, chatting how girl, you said you don't have a phone. So I had a laptop. So along with that, I also happen to have uh, a netman. So back in the days, we used to have netman. I don't know if people still use. Oh, sorry, this is like a lash in my. God, sorry. So I had a netman. I don't know if people still use netmans, but back in the days, I was using a netman, which had a SIM card. Okay, so I could access the internet. I could access also, you know, like Facebook and all the other things like. Uh, messages like i could text people and call for that matter so i was chatting to my boyfriend you know and also on that i remember like this guy was traveling the next day because it was like um holidays it was school holidays like first semester i think so it was holiday so he was traveling like the next day so he wanted to see me and say goodbye <laughs> say goodbye to you sweetheart <laughs> anyways so so now we were planning like to meet up and you know guys back in the days i don't know if people still do it but we used to meet like in the streets you know that thing of you standing with your guy or girlfriend you know in the streets and then you kiss hug whatever talk whatever but we just had or we were just um we normally just used to meet like outdoor like outside we never had this thing of come to my room but the whole nah it was always like in the streets and all that it was cute though it was cute 
Okay, so we are planning to meet up, guys, okay? So now, I was dumb. You know why? I didn't silent my notification. Um, what is it? Sound. So every time a notification comes in, like a text message, it, it would like, you know, um, have that ring sound to it. And then I will type, you know, and then again, notification, and then I will type. So my mom was basically just typing me. Remember I told you, not typing, but eyeing me. Remember I told you guys, I shared a room with my parents. So my mom was basically just eyeing me. Like, for some reason, I was just acting so dumb and so childish. Like, also probably never minded. Like, I was not considering the fact that maybe my mom could be, you know. And I was just in my eighth grade guys like i was in eighth grade and basically like a freshman i was a freshman straight from primary school you know so my mom was probably like huh this girl thinks she's smart eh so what happens is my mom then says let's go have dinner i said nope not having dinner guys was i not just excited to see this guy so i didn't have dinner and then my mom was probably like hmm and i'm just there guys typing 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 dun, 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 dun. <laughs> typing 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 because now this guy says come out guys the way i just ran out okay not like really run out like i was trying to be sneaky but i didn't know that my mom already caught up like she been there girl like what sit down she been there she knows what what was up so i had a dog ne? so my excuse to get out was like i'm gonna feed the dog i'm gonna feed the dog so when i got i go like princess that used to be my dog's name may she rest in peace she passed on like i think a year ago or was it last year yeah so i called out princess name and guys like i left the laptop there on my bed i don't know if my mom went to check and saw that i was busy texting you know i i really don't know but my mom followed me outside like i don't even a second outside my mom is already here and then just when i was trying to maybe conversate with this my guy i'm hearing a voice that says um so are you the one calling my girl out ah, are you so are you the one calling my daughter outside at this time And guys, I think it was around about 8 to 9 or 7 to 8, around about that time. So when I heard that, guys, I was like, yo, are you the one calling out my daughter this time of the night? <laughs> my guy was just there, my dear, just standing. I don't know what he said. I don't know if he said something anyways. So it's for my mom to say, let's go in. Like me, follow me. She was like. I'm gonna need, let's go in i was like yo guys was i not shaking like i was shaken Woo! my heart was like doom 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 you know because i was just like how come girl i thought i came up with a you know sneaky cute little plan like to feed the dog why are you following me my mom was smarter guys that woman followed me okay so guys we went in the house yo the only question she asked me was like that translates to like was that the only person you could find <laughs> guys how do you ask me that guys like just because he's not suit suitable for you doesn't mean like he's not fit for me like come on guys we all get to choose our own people but my mom was like was that the only person you could it's, it's more like was that the only thing you could pick up you know something like that and i was just like yo sorry guys it's so hot yeah? and i can't switch on my fan because oh it's going to create like a very bad sound but anyways child okay guys did i not get a uh, <laughs> guys i got spanked do you know what is spank not even spanking is not even the word guy i got beat up so bad you know it was like with a with a plank ne? a plank of probably it was this it was actually huge man it was like similar to that thing like the wooden the wooden um 
you know we have a cooking whisk right the whisk that we use for cooking pop okay not that one L not even like similar to a wooden spoon guys that thing was big it was so big my dad i remember my dad handmade it like for us to cook pop yo guys that thing it broke on my body guys <laughs> And on top of that, guys, here's the twisted drama. My mom has the audacity to ask me, take me to this boy's house. And I'm just like, how? After you beat me up, you now want me to take you to the boy's house. So I get beat up that side also or what now? Guys, so I was forcing me. I took her to the wrong house. We walk, we walk. This boy stays just a street away from my house. I took my mom the other side of the house. Guys, was it not just God calling us there? It's for us to find this guy, my man, my boyfriend, my first lovey-dovey, my first... Mm. <laughs> Guys, we found him standing in the street with this other chick from our school that is in his class. And I was just like, hi, boy. And me and my mom were about to go knock on some false house, pretending that he lives there, guys. And... My mom was like, look, look at your boyfriend. He's there standing with another guy. Ha! <laughs> at this point, I don't know if I was angry at the fact that I got beat up or that I could see him with that chick, that long ass chick. Sorry, babe. But I don't care. With that long ass chick he was standing there with. So, my guy came from me and on to you know and continued extended the the bye bye you know the the enjoy your holiday vibes with this other chick and i was just like guys what is wrong with this dude like why would he do something like that so you guys i feel like nah, to a point i was kind of traumatized because i don't know man i i just got beat up and the next thing i see is like the love of my life standing there with some random chick from school and i was just like so you are cheating and you could have seen my mom she was like yeah look look at your boyfriend so from there guys my mom my dad was at work man. i think my dad by that time used to drive like a taxi so it's for my mom to call my dad yeah my mom called my dad i think to take us to the police station guys i don't know i don't know what was my mom's motive like to take me to the police station like she wanted me to get beat up or what now like the beating she gave me at home wasn't enough the plank even broke on my body guys yo guys when i went there to the police station it's like things of yeah okay the police lady or the officer was like um telling my mom to kindly like narrate the story like what happened like what transpired and then my mom was there, yeah, this little girl is my daughter, da 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 da, and she's too young for men. And then she went out there with this guy, and then we found this guy with another lady when we were on the way to his house, you know. Guys, as little as I am, I was never in a police station because of such stories. The only time I went to a police station was like to certify my copies, guys. I was shaking guys i was shaking at this point it's like my life was over i felt so bad i got beat up like the same night guys i got beat up by my mom because of a guy who was cheating on me the guy was i found out the guy was cheating on me and guys my mom took me to the police station so i was just like what is happening am i dreaming for some reason i thought i was dreaming and when i came back to sleep guys i was just shivering like my body was just shivering oh i felt so bad eh? i really felt so bad so nothing really happened like at the police station they just like told me like to listen to my parents like to leave the boyfriends out and focus more on school and all things like that man that's basically what happened and then yeah i think from there we got back home my mom came to tell my dad what happened because my dad was not around and yeah that is basically it for my first boyfriend slash got beat up because of him slash my mom took me to the police station <laughs> so sorry that this story time is a little bit short i hope you guys like it please do comment and subscribe comment down below 
your experience with your first boyfriend mine was basically trash cash that was my first boyfriend and he was cheating like why would you want to cheat on me just why why no calls with a girl from your class a girl that i know so that girl also knows that you are dating me now or what or you told her that we are not together or what happened because i don't understand like i don't understand and from there guys like you know now like when me and my mom spotted them like we just looked at them and the girl also just looked at me and my mom and she was like giving me you know this attitude because she knew like i was with this guy like she knew but maybe the guy told her that no we're not together anymore so she was like trying to give me the you know the sass she was trying to throw in some sass and i was just like hmm. i was so angry now i was really so angry i could have gone there but i was with my mom you know because the wretchedness in me wanted to come out guys because what the heba like what the f like what the fuck who does it so me and that guy i think we ended up okay eventually i broke up with him guys like obviously i broke up with him definitely like who's gonna stay with a cheater not me sweetie i know my worth so yeah guys i hope you enjoy this video man <laughs> ah my first boyfriend you see now how you unlocked the doors to my life boy you see see coming in pretending like you know like you loved me but you never did but now he's running behind my ass guys <laughs> i'm joking but anyways stay tuned for more content if you guys like this video then i'll definitely deliver more um story time it is hot guys oh my goodness it is hot right now i have to go i have to go there's like a beach festival so i have to go have to wash this makeup off and just you know go so please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and please share share guys it's it costs nothing to share guys please share with your friends and family and refer people to come and subscribe on my youtube channel i love you guys so much pretty gang for life okay take care of yourselves okay i love you guys bye